Well, Julio Jones and Aaron Rodgers are in the news once again. Will I ever cover anything else for f**k's sake? In all seriousness, today Julio Jones admitted on live television that he wants nothing to do with the Atlanta Falcons, and as predicted, Aaron Rodgers did not show up to Green Bay's OTAs. What does that all mean? All coming up on today's edition of The Da Mafia Report. Yo, ho, ho, Da Mafia. Welcome to yet another edition of the Da Mafia Report. You read that title correctly. Once again, we are covering Julio Jones and Aaron Rodgers. Give me a f***ing break. It's the offseason. These are just the stories that seem to be circulating, and there seems to be a bunch of updates each and every single time that I refresh Twitter. But some things have been starting to get interesting, and we're going to dive into both of the situations that happened a bit earlier today. Before I dive into it, I do want to give just a couple of quick announcements. Number one, I am still giving away either that PS5 or Xbox Series X on July 2nd. In order to enter, all you need to do is be a subscriber to this YouTube channel, screenshot proof of that, and DM that screenshot to me over on Instagram, at RealDanMitchell. As soon as we do that, you are entered into the contest and you might as well follow me as well because that is where I am going to be announcing the winner. Don't miss your opportunity of potentially winning a next-gen console. Number two, I just ended up starting a Discord server for all NFL fans, Buffalo Bills fans alike. It is absolutely insane. I highly recommend that you end up joining it because there's several benefits of not only being able to talk trash but at the same time, you also get the ability to call in to my live shows to ask me questions, ask my guests questions, give your takes. You're gonna wanna join Discord. That link is in my description. Last but not least, everyone always asks me, Dan, how can I support your channel? The best way to do it is simply by smashing the f out of that like button. But in case you ever wanted to go the extra mile, Patreon is the way to do it, and you can find that link in my description as well. And I'm also starting my YouTube memberships. You might be able to see that button down there, and you get a bunch of cool benefits from either of those options. Man, yeah, not too much. I'm about to go meet up with my brother. What's happening with you? Man, look, you want to go to the Cowboys, Julio, or you want to stay in Atlanta? Oh, man, I'm out of there, man. Yes, I think that video shocked us all. Not because we didn't see it coming. It's been clear knowledge that Julio Jones wants to get the f*** out of Atlanta. He's clearly just not happy there, especially when he specifically requested for a trade about a month or so ago. But the question now remains is, is did Julio know that he was on live television? I'm going to have to say no, especially since he started off the conversation saying, oh, yeah, man, I'm just about to go hang out with my brother. I mean, I think Shannon Sharp kind of pulled a quick one on him. Let's go ahead and put it that way. When you look at that conversation, I mean, it is about as, as real as it ever was going to get. Because at the end of the day, we've all realized that sometimes sports reporters will go on ahead and stir the pot. <coughs> Adam Schefter. Sometimes you really don't understand that it's a reality until it truly happens. But in this scenario, we heard it from the man himself. He says, I am out of there, meaning that he does not want to be playing for that team. He wants to change the scenery. And we've heard all of these reports of potential teams that he can go to. I think the most popular one at this point is the New England Patriots. Once you look at that man's $15.3 million dollars, in cap that a new team is going to have to absorb unless there's some type of restructure, etc. There's only 11 teams in the NFL that could theoretically afford him. And those teams just so happen to be the Jacksonville Jaguars, the New York Jets, Cincinnati Bengals, Denver Broncos, the Cleveland Browns, Washington football team, the Colts, the LA Chargers, the Lions, San Francisco, and New England. So as far as from a financial standpoint, it seems like one of those teams are the only realistic option from a financial background. So at the end of the day, we're going to have to see what is going on. This is a story that I've been following for a very long time. And to be completely honest with you, I'm doing this exclusively because I wanna make sure that I never see the tweet saying that Julio Jones just ended up being traded to the New England Patriots. That is the only reason I've been following this story so closely. If he goes anywhere else, I am completely fine with it. Main story, 
Aaron Rodgers. This has been a cluster of a situation, and I'm sure if you're a Green Bay Packers fan watching this, your anxiety has been through the roof ever since draft night. We all know that he's unhappy here, but we really don't know the true intentions, because unlike Julio Jones, Aaron Rodgers <laughs> wasn't called on live television from somebody who he considered a friend and admitted exactly why he was unhappy. For all we know, looks like Rodgers is probably just holding out for a, maybe an extended contract or something like that. We really don't know what's going on. But a lot of the times the writing was on the wall and everybody on earth predicted that Rodgers would not be showing up to OTAs and that's exactly what happened today. Dude Man was a no-show. And now besides June 8th through June 10th, which is the mandatory mini camp, and the entire OTA situation is voluntary for all types of players. But the way that you look at it is, is that Aaron Rodgers, he was actually due a $500,000 workout bonus. And as of now, he's already missed enough to where that's not even a possibility for him anymore. He has no way of being able to collect that workout bonus. So what exactly does that say? Does that cement the fact that Aaron Rodgers is not about to be a Packer going into 2021? I would say that that's a pretty dangerous sign. If I was a Green Bay Packers fan, I would probably be shitting my pants, not only with the fact that Rodgers would be leaving, but the fact that Blake Bortles may very well be my quarterback going into it. This is interesting. Matt LaFleur had a couple of things to say about it when asked about the situation, and he had this to say. I've got nothing new to update, and we still obviously feel the same way. We want him back in the worst way. I know he knows that, and we'll continue to work at it each and every day. And it's common knowledge that Aaron Rodgers is not going to be collecting his workout bonus. But once training camp ends up starting, if Rodgers doesn't show up to that mandatory mini camp, dude man's gonna start collecting fines. And according to this article, he would be fined $15,515 the first day, $31,030 on the second day, and $46,540 on the third missed day. In my opinion, I think that if Aaron Rodgers skips out on all three of those days, then Packers fans need to start prepping themselves for a Blake Bortles-led Green Bay Packers or a Jordan Love-led Green Bay Packers. Because missing out on a workout bonus is one thing, but once you start incurring fines and frankly say, I don't give a f then obviously things are really starting to be stirred up in Green Bay. Dom Mafia, do me a favor, leave a comment on this situation. I really wanna hear y'all's thoughts to see if he's going to stay there. I think that he's gonna be a Bronco, to be completely honest with you, but hey, who knows anything when it comes to these football rumors? It's the off season. We're all going crazy. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another edition of the Da Mafia Report. I will see you tomorrow. And before I let you go, always remember, let's go Buffalo.